Hi, this is Living Life with Grace and Truth. I'm Earl Wagner, the Dean of Biblical and Theological Studies at Colorado Christian University. This month, no surprise here, we're talking about Christmas. Most everyone in this country, and lots of folks internationally too, are thinking about Christmas at this time of year. Whether they focus their thoughts on a nebulous understanding of the holidays or food preparations for family gatherings or the gift and purchase lists or even how they want to decorate their houses, chances are all of that is because of Christmas, the celebration of the birth of Jesus, God the Son. I want to read you the Christmas story, kind of. This reading is actually from the Gospel of John, which I'm sure you know does not contain the actual Christmas story. No Bethlehem, no manger, no Mary and Joseph in the first part of John. But the words in that opening first chapter of John describe in majestic ways the theological realities which happened in Bethlehem, in that manger, to Mary, Joseph, and the entire world. And with the hope that the words in John chapter 1 hit you in a fresh and different way, I'm going to read them from Eugene Peterson's The Message Translation. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5 and 9 through 14. The Word was first. The Word present to God. God present to the world. The Word was God in readiness for God from day one. Everything was created through him. Nothing, not one thing came into being without him. What came into existence was life, and the life was light to live by. The life light blazed out of the darkness. The darkness couldn't put it out. The life light was the real thing. Every person entering life he brings into light. He was in the world. The world was there through him, and yet the world didn't even notice. He came to his own people, but they didn't want him. But whoever did want him, who believed he was who he claimed and would do what he said, he made to be their true selves, their child of God selves. These are the God begotten, not blood begotten, not flesh begotten, not sex begotten. The word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. We saw the glory with our own eyes, the one of a kind glory, like father, like son, generous inside and out, true from start to finish. Those are powerful words. Those are true words, words which literally come to life during this special. May they bring life fresh and new to you and yours this Christmas season. This has been Living Life with Grace and Truth. I'm Earl Wagner. Looking forward to seeing you next year.